Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Finishing Blow. Holy cow, these past few weeks have been insane. If you've been following the website at all, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But let's go ahead and get the uh, biggest news out of the way, I guess, or announced. Um, Shane Scalf from, uh, you may know him from the podcast, the Shane Nick podcast that I've been helping out on, on uh, Japan Cinema. He has been nice enough to start writing some content for Martial Arts Movie Junkie. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the finishing blow because I know that he wants to cover a bunch of different topics and I'm, I'm kind of doing like the weekly thing, but I may just do like a top five um, most interesting articles, um, but I don't know. For, for now, I'm just going to cover the ones that I wrote about, but if you want to read Shane's, he's got a lot of good stuff. Um, talk about uh, Joe Talson's new movie that's coming out, uh, The Expendables 3, who the director is and what he's worked on. So a lot of cool stuff that you should definitely check out. And I like it. I think as a breath of fresh air, you guys can see a different um, aspect of the genre that maybe I don't cover or I forget to or I don't have the same level of interest in, in I guess. Um, so I'm really excited for it. I hope that you guys like what Shane writes. And we have a lot of cool stuff uh, headed your way. I know that uh, we kind of, or he kind of posted about the 300 likes. And I guess I want to kind of extend on that a little bit. And if you guys are like, watching these videos or visiting the website, if you guys, like, post in the comments what you feel about different events. Um, I think that that'll let us gauge kind of how vocal the community is, because there's a few things I want to do, but it's more like community-based. So we'll see how that goes. But um, for now, enjoy what you got, and um, let me know if you guys want anything different, if you want more of something. Please let me know. I'm, I'm still in the, like I said, the, the baby stage of the website. So I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions, but hopefully you guys like it. I, I enjoy where the site is going and I'm really excited to see where it ends up. So anyway, so let's talk some news, shall we? Okay. So first off, Mana Tai Chi got a trailer and it looks really good. I think it looks promising. Um, it may not be the most groundbreaking film ever, but given the fact that it is a uh, like Hollywood film, I'm really excited to see where it goes. I think that it's going to be sh um, like a better showcase of the genre than like say Man of the Iron Fist or Man with the Iron Fist. Um, but I'm I'm excited for it. I I know some people are wondering how Tiger Chen's going to be able to do with the acting department of it, which is a legit concern. But hopefully he does a good job, and I think that the movie is going to be awesome. So. Hopefully we'll get like a high def trailer here pretty soon, um, or like a, a different trailer that shows like they didn't even show Eco, so I know that they're saving that, or that maybe he doesn't have like a huge role. But anyways, Man of Chai Chi looks awesome. Following trailer, ugh, following that up with another trailer. I can't talk right now. I'm sorry, my brain is just scattered. Okay, so following that up is a American trailer for the Grandmasters. Now I don't know what you, like if any of you guys have seen the Grandmasters. I haven't yet. Um, it's on my list of movies to watch, but I have not seen it yet. But the whole feel of the American trailer is really different to me. Um, the whole, like, the the, the uh, winner is always correct, the loser is always down, that kind of thing. It doesn't fit the Ip Man, I guess, character that I've known. So I don't know if that's, like, accurate. But it's really a weird take on it. I feel like they're, they're altering the character in the trailer just to, to get people interested in it and... You know, um, like I think somebody wrote that, like, obviously, um, I think it's the, the Weinstein Company got the rights to it, but they think that we're a bunch of just, like, boneheaded people that, you know, can't understand, like, deeper meanings. Um, so hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see. Um, the trailer looks okay. It's nothing new. It's still that fight in the rain. I'm starting to wonder if that's pretty much the only fight there is. But um, I don't know. So check it out. See what you think. Grandmasters should be good, but um, I don't know. Uh, the way they're promoting it's really weird to me. Okay, for the fight of the week, um, I did uh, a Jason Bourne style Japanese uh, fight, and it's called Showdown, and it stars uh, Hiroshi Adachi and uh, Moriyama Shogo, which actually it's Adachi Hiroshi. I got them backwards. Being, yeah, names are reversed. Anyways, um, Awesome fight scene. I tried to speak Japanese in it, and I realized how bad my Japanese is. Some some people have said that it's it's fine, but I don't know. You know how you think your voice is something different in your head, and then when you actually hear it, it's totally different? My pronunciation is not what I thought it was, so I want to work on that. But anyways, the fight of the week. I shouldn't be talking about my Japanese skill level. The fight of the week is awesome, and you need to check it out for sure. So give it a look.
Okay, on top of that, um, John Wu, who, um, he did, hang on, my brain is just, <sighs> okay, so Flying Tigers is another film, or like a mini-series that's coming out, and, um, it looks, it sounds interesting, I guess it's more of like a airplane, like, battle thing, but the, the project is finally moving forward, it's got two, um, Produ like uh, production companies behind it. It's going to be, I think, um, a feature film and then like a six-part miniseries, if I remember right. I, I don't remember a lot of it because it's like military-based and I can't remember too much because I'm horrible with history. But anyways, it sounds interesting. Uh, PJ Italian actually showed it to me. Um, she emailed it to me and let me know that it was there and I think it looks awesome. And I'll just, I haven't even seen Red Cliff, which I've heard a lot of good things about. So I, I've got a lot of movies I need to watch. But, um, yeah, it's going to be insane. Um, do I have? No, I don't. Dang it. Okay, I bought, I bought a bunch of movies at FYE. Sidetrack's our sponsor. But um, they're old, like, Shaw Brothers films. I found them from Dragon Dynasty for, like, three nineteen each. So, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to get to those here pretty soon, too. So... Kind of old movies and new movies. Going to try and review them. We'll see where it goes. Okay. Getting sidetracked. Moving on. Donnie Yen is filming The Iceman Cometh, the 3D version. And as we know, it's pretty big scale. Um, I didn't realize that they had actually shut down a mountain for nine days so that Donnie Yen could film. Um, for, for all tourists and stuff, it was like a government-issued like lockdown. And they weren't able to visit the mountain. And um, it sounds insane, but you got to check out the post. There's actually like Donnie Yen vlogging in Chinese, which I can't speak. But um, it looks really cool. It looks really cold. Um, and I think that I think that the Iceman 3D is going to be good. I don't know about the 3D aspect of it, but I think that the remake is going to be pretty solid. So fingers crossed on that. I'm, I'm still hoping for more on Special Identity. I don't know what happened to it, but it needs to come out. Please. Okay. Lastly, on the new side of things. Got the King of the Streets is has been acquired by Wogo USA. Now this movie came out last year, and I was pretty excited for it, but it's kind of one of those where I got sidetracked and it kind of fell off my radar. And now it's been out for almost a year, and I still haven't heard anything about it. Like I haven't heard any good or bad reviews or anything about it. So I'm really curious about it. I think the trailer looks good. Um, it's definitely old school. And I think that um, the one on one versus twenty style that they want to like put in the film may or may not be any good depending on how they edit it. Because if you do one versus twenty and it's not believable, it's not going to be fun to watch. So, anyways, props to Logo USA for always going the extra mile and getting films that people are like curious about or may not have heard of and bringing them to the states. Most of the time, I would say in a timely manner. Um, I know, like I said, King of the Streets came out like last year. But a lot of, like, the uh, uh, Tai Chi Zero, it was, like, the month after it came out in China. Um, so there are other films that come out, like, a month or two after the release in their home country, which I think is amazing. So props to them. I'm going to be checking it out. Um, I think it comes out in August. So I'll, I'll have to give that one a look and see what I think. Okay, lastly, did a review for Shanghai Nights. And um, this movie was one that I've been wanting to watch again for a while. Granted, I had no idea that they're actually doing a Blu-ray collection that comes out, like, I think in a week or two. So if I was smart, I would have waited, but I wanted to watch it, so I checked it out again. I think it's an underrated movie. Um, read my review, see what you think. But I, I actually like Shanghai Noon, I guess, and Shanghai Nights. I like Shanghai Nights more. I think it's one of the few movies where the sequel does better than the original. But I like that series, or the franchise, better than the Rush Hour franchise. Um, but I'm partial to Owen Wilson. Um, especially after, like, Zoolander and, uh, what? I mean, there's a bunch of movies that he's been in that I think he's pretty good in. So, I like his style of comedy more than, like, Chris Tucker's style. It's more of, like, this, like, subtle, snarky comedy, I guess. And so, I like it more. But anyways, did a review for that. You should check it out. Okay, I'm done. Um, so, like I said, Shane and I will be kind of gauging the audience and seeing um, what's what's good out there, what's not, what you guys want to do. So feel free to post in the forums, on the, on the website, on this YouTube video, whatever you want to do. Let me know what you guys want. Otherwise, um, we do have some cool ideas. And um, I think we're going to start rolling them out maybe the, in the next couple weeks. But we want to make sure that we have the, the best content that we can give you before we roll out with it. So 
get excited for that. Um, feel free to post in either of our on, on our articles. Um, I know I'm my brain. So it's too early for this. Seriously. Okay. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. I'm I'm really excited for the for the website, and I think that's why I can't figure out what to say because I get into that like excited ramble stutter thing. So. If you guys have anything you want more of, let me know. I will try to see what I can do and um, just get excited for the content that's coming because there's going to be a lot of cool things and I may have to figure out how the layout of the website is going to change so that it's easier for you guys to access everything. Because when I did one post a day, it wasn't so hard because you could just visit and see it you know, all at once. But um, if we do a couple articles a day or something like that, I'm still going to try and do one a day. If I can, I'm not going to try and like get lazy, but we'll see because there's a couple other things I want to start writing. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But anyways, let Shane know how you think he's doing or if you guys like what he's covering. Um, if you're interested in it, let him know because I know he'll appreciate it. So anyways, okay, that's all I got. Hopefully next week is going to be smoother and it's going to be just an awesome, relaxing experience. Probably not, but we'll see how it goes. So anyways, hopefully you guys had a good week. My week has been hectic. But awesome as always. Thanks to you guys. So that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is Kay Miller. This week has been finished.